everybody. So I think this marks the two year anniversary of the time I probably got in the most trouble I ever have been in my entire life. Sit back for a harrowing tale. This is this is genuinely a very scary experience that I genuinely lived through, and I do apologize ever so slightly for the clickbait title, but it's also not incorrect. I literally did almost go to jail over this. What I need to tell you guys is the story of the time that I was on my way back from Virginia and got pulled over. So... This was early spring 2016. We had just taken a trip down to North Carolina to visit some relatives down there. It was me, my dad, and my sister. And we were on our way back. It was We'd been down there for a long weekend. We tried some cool food. We went to go see a nine foot tall bronze statue of Dale Earnhardt. Pretty great. We missed the Dale Trail. We did, well, we didn't have enough time to do the whole Dale Trail, but we did the part that mattered the nine foot tall bronze statue of Dale Earnhardt. And we had packed up early Sunday morning to try to kind of avoid the church like crowd. way early. It was, like we, we left, left at like dark. 6 a.m. We left before the sun rose. Yeah. It was about 6 a.m. and we wanted to get, because it's, it's an eight hour-ish drive from North Carolina where my grandmother lives back up to the part of New Jersey where we live. My dad and I were switching off and on with driving duty. So I started out that morning and we were moving along at a pretty good pace. And dad it, was trying to sleep in like the back seat. Yeah, dad was trying to sleep really in the back for seat. Anybody. And we were we were moving along pretty okay. The weather wasn't the greatest. I remember it being super foggy, not quite raining. It was foggy but definitely, where we were driving and then there were, it was snowing. The weather was something else. I couldn't really describe it. So we make it through North Carolina just fine. And then we get into Virginia. And we are taking a very, very high road where it's very narrow and there are only two lanes. And it is very, very clear that the car that I am driving has New Jersey license plates. Super apparent. Stick out like a sore freaking thumb. The point of the story is we're driving along and somebody gets a wild hair up there, you know what, and decides to mess with me. It is like super road rage going on. This guy is just pissed. And I don't know why. I don't know what I did. But he decided to cut me off, drive in front of me incredibly slowly. And we're in, we're in it's two lane road. We're in the passing lane. So we should be moving along pretty steadily. And I know you're not supposed to drive in the passing lane, but I had no no way to move around this guy. It was a steady line of cars along the passenger side of my car. And this guy just playing games with me for several miles. And everybody else in all of the other lanes because there was no way anyone yeah, could move past Yeah, we could him. not move. So, so finally... A third lane opens up, and I make my move to get around this guy. And I, I start to pull over into the faster into the, the lane, and I start to accelerate my way up. At the urging of my father, I get into this lane, and I pass, and I finally am away from this guy, and I get back into my lane, and I look over, and I see a state police officer. And he flicks his lights on and he pulls out and he pulls up right behind me. And of course, because I can't get over, it takes us a good little while to be able to pull over into the shoulder. And this is like when my heart drops. Uh, of course, nobody really likes getting pulled over, but I just was not ready for that this day. Especially because like my dad was the one who kind of nudged me into to getting into the lane to begin with. So, cop, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo pulls me over, you know, his license registration and all that shit. So I hand it over to him and I'm like, you know, so just, yeah, so I'm just like, oh, I'm just, you know, waiting for my sentencing at this point. So he comes over and he hands me, the ticket he hands me is large. It's like a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And it's like folded. And it's folded over. So I, you know, he hands me and he's like, you know, don't, don't speed anymore. And I said, okay. And I, I, pull off and I, you know, make my way out. And my dad's looking at it and he goes, Elise, 
this is not your average speeding ticket. And I said, what are you talking about? And he goes, let's, let's get you off the road. Because I had been clocked at going 82 in a 70, which in New Jersey wouldn't have been that big of a deal. In most states wouldn't have been that big of a deal. It would possibly have been points on my license for being very, like, over 10 miles over the speed limit. But typically, a speeding ticket is something you can just pay off with a fine. And that's that. You know, you get some points on your license, you take a defensive driving course, and you move on. Turns out, it's not that way in Virginia. No, in Virginia, their traffic laws are so stringent that the amount of speed that I was going over the speed limit counted as a misdemeanor. I could not just pay off the ticket. In fact, I actually had to appear in court. This was not a citation. This was a summons. A straight up summons where I was required to appear in court. So now I'm in like extra panic mode. I I reached out to a cousin of mine who had been a police officer in Virginia Beach for a short while. And he was basically like, "Mm, yeah, you're in trouble. I was like, thanks, this is helpful. I get back, we get back to New Jersey and I just kind of try to calm down for a bit. And the next day, um, there's a down, there's, there's a lull at work and I end up doing some, some looking, some searching online to see if I could find a lawyer because the way it appeared was that I was going to need legal representation for this speeding ticket. So I ended up doing my research and I ended up finding a lawyer in the town that I was pulled over in, or at least in the the county. I think it was like Rockbridge County or something like that. Fine. So I end up contacting this lawyer. I left him a voicemail because he wasn't around at that point, you know, asking, and I say, hi, I'm, you know, my name's Elise. I am an out of state driver. I was pulled over on my way through the state to return to where I'm from and I see that I have received this ticket and I need assistance dealing with it. And my father had said that he would pay the legal fees, that I would have to take care of any fines related to the ticket, but because he felt bad about what ended up happening with the whole situation, that he would take care of any legal fees that we incurred. Which, to be fair, ended up costing me quite more than I thought it was going to. So what ended up happening I, I got in touch with the lawyer, and this, so this was March, and my court date was in May. So I I did my research into the ticket itself, because I was like, how, how can I not just pay off a speeding ticket? This doesn't make sense to me. So it turns out in Virginia that they have enacted incredibly strict traffic laws, and I got really lucky turns out that if I had been going 90 miles an hour in that speeding section as opposed to the 82 that I had been going, I literally could have been jailed for it. If you hit 20 miles over the speed limit, you have mandatory jail time. If you are 10 over, there is potential for jail time. So I was not in the clear yet. I I ended up finding a Deadspin article about a gentleman who had been pulled over going 90 or 90 something in a 70 and he ended up having a weekend jail stay and this terrified me so i I reached out to the lawyer and for some reason the lawyer had a incredibly thick texan accent sounded kind of like doug dimsdale doug dimmidome doug dimmidome from the dimsdale dimmidome and he said basically he's like all right i can handle this but what I need you to do ahead of time is I need you to complete a mandatory, and it's optional, but it looks real good if you do it now. I had to complete a eight hours community service. And this was difficult because I was working at that point in time. And my com- I was already kind of on thin ice with that company. Uh, we were not a good fit. That's another story for another time point is I ended up needing to take off to complete this community service aspect of this. So I ended up getting in contact with a lovely crew. There's the uh, uh, Central Jersey Stream team. Shoutouts to them. They're a local organization 
that does river cleanups in the area. And I figured, you know, because I'm I'm involved in environmental consulting and stuff like that, that's that would be a good fit to just kind of continue with that theme. So that worked. Uh, and I ended up doing two cleanups with them that took two days and ranged about eight, approximately, it was eight or nine hours of community service. And they wrote me a very, very kind letter acknowledging such that we could submit to, to the courts down in Virginia. So with all that, uh, we finally, my court date approaches and I don't hear anything from my lawyer. And I'm getting like heart palpitations. I'm like, am I going to jail? Because he, he said we can probably avoid the jail time, but I can't make any guarantees. So I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to have to go to jail. I'm going to have to take time off of work to go to Virginia to, to go, go to, to jail, jail for the weekend. And I'm just like freaking out. So the next morning, this is late May at this point. I get, I get a call from my lawyer and he said, you know, just want you to know we, we were able to talk them down to a fine and a defensive driving course. So I said, cool, great, this is perfect, I can do this. And they're like, you've got until November to, you have six months or something like that to take care of all of this, and then it's, it's done. Now luckily, because this took place out of state, this did not count as any points on my license. Uh, if I had been in New Jersey and I'd gotten points on my license, it would have been really terrible. Uh, probably would have jacked up my insurance rates. But as it stood, that didn't actually affect my insurance rates at all. Uh, and then the fees came in. So the lawyer asked for approximately $1,500 for his services, which was a little bit steeper than I was expecting, but Dad said he'd cover that. So I was like, okay, cool. And I believe after all of the fines and court fees and all of that, I ended up having to pay a about $500 to the county in Virginia that I received the ticket in, which was very steep for me. So shortly after I received that ticket, um, my office downsized significantly and I was without a job for quite some time. So I basically scraped together as much money as I could to pay this off. Uh, September rolls around. And I finally have gotten into a... Because they, initially, I had been told that I was not allowed to take an online defensive driving course. That I needed to take it in person. Uh, they, they didn't specify in Virginia. Uh, they said it probably would have been... It would have behooved me, but it was not mandatory. So I had a very difficult time finding an accredited course in New Jersey that would have applied to Virginia. Thankfully, uh, September rolled around and I, I was able to locate one. So I spent, uh, it was an entire Saturday in a shopping center along a highway in New Jersey with people who had lost their licenses. No, well, I'll, I'll put it this way. None of them had been pulled over in Virginia. And when I told my story as to why I had been pulled over, they were like, oh. Oh, that sucks. So it made me feel real good about things. That was $125. Uh, so at this point, we're pushing, we're like, what, pushing almost $3,000 right now? This goes $1,500, then $500. Um, so that's $2,000. And then another buck twenty-five. Yeah, it's not, that's not so it's not quite, but, but, but still, it's over this two. is over $2,000 just for a speeding ticket. I was and remain flabbergasted by that at this point. You know, I'd, I'd had to go to the DMV to get a copy of my, my driving record. You know, I'd seen that, oh yeah, there's that one time I got that cell phone ticket. Don't talk on your phone and drive, kids. Terrible idea. But other than that, my record was clean. And it was just, it felt, it was very demeaning. Which, I mean, I'm being punished. I understand that. But this was didn't really feel like the punishment suited the crime, but whatever. I'm not a lawmaker in Virginia. I have no say in the matter. Long story short, guys, this was probably the most terrifying experience of my life. Those, those days where I was sitting waiting to find out if I was going to have to go to jail was not something that I was looking forward to. Amusingly, uh, I did kind of have that one line 
from 50% off the uh, the f- abridged free series going through my head. It's like, oh, I now know that there's a difference between jail and holding. Uh, constantly. It was like on a loop. Kept going. And I was like, oh boy, this is not going to end well. But it did. And I was very lucky with that. So I guess the moral of this story, guys, is don't screw around with your speed. Especially in Virginia, especially on two lane roads, and especially if somebody's being a real dill hole in front of you. Just don't egg them on. Just pull back, let them do their thing, and just don't go to jail. Man, that might give me anxiety even recounting it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are interested in more story time videos like this, I bought a whole bunch. And I will link some after this one. Maybe you'd like to hear about the time that I went on an online date with a guy from MySpace. That's a pretty good one. You might want to check that out. If you liked what you saw, you want to stick around, hit that subscribe button in the corner over there. Click that bell, join the notification squad so you know every time I upload. Question of the day. Uh, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? If you drive, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? If you don't drive, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? If you did, how? Thank you guys so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Later!